So after two hours of sleep, woke up, pumped up to see what's happening. <laughs> and this is what's up. <laughs> Look what we have here. <laughs> we have Godox SL60. <laughs> Let's cut some light on this beautiful car. It's time to pay off all my attempts to make a bad move. Procrastination, deep down the need to take a wrong turn. Look at this, I would have never expected this, but it happened and it's on both sides. It's such a good quality, even the thinnest lines are here and they do not disappear. Pretty well made. Bros are working on a car, working hard, tweaking. Thank you to this gentleman right here. You're <laughs> <laughs> 29.7. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We weren't able to pass tech with our restrictor because the diameter hole was too big. So we stopped at this shop over here, five minutes from the house really quick. And they cut a plate on the laser cutter, drilled a 30 millimeter hole for us, TIG welded it, and now we're good to go. Woo! I'm truly amazed how fast these things are working here. You're calling, leaving the part, and 10 minutes later, he's calling you back. I'm telling you that it's ready. <laughs> yeah, when they see this, they're gonna love it. One of my anti filters that was living on step down ring stocked. <laughs> we had to remove it, and this is what's left of my ND4. So basically, I have one ND less, but I am prepared. I got a Polar Pro base camp. And this one is even better. Grab that tool bag that was in there. Mark is about to install the GoPros inside. We'll see how it will go and how the footage is going to look like later. It seems to be pretty dark. Which one is that? This is Hero 6? Yeah, so Hero 6 goes all the way to the back in the center. It's going to show the best vantage point. GoPros installed on the corners to capture the faces so we know exactly when Mike is popping his hands. Here is our pilot. Yes, sir. He went through the track and how does it look like? It looks horrible, it's very icy, no snow, we were expecting snow tonight, but it's not going to change, so it's not going to snow anymore, and we're just going to have to deal with the snow tires we have on, and not track it, traction, traction eyes have been a lot better, but it looks like we don't have those tires, so we're just going to have to fight to, to the finish. Are you going to drive slower? Yes, for sure slower, we can't go how we want it to go with the conditions that are right now. My childhood paid off.
packed up. Mikey is running like crazy. <laughs> Situation is under control, but we're a little bit late. <laughs> As expected, of course. The stars are coming late. It looks legit and it's so loud, this car. When it started, it jumped out. We had to give it a little push. I feel that this event is going to be amazing. Man. <laughs> It looks like guys are gonna drive over there, but I'm not sure actually what's happening. I can feel definitely the emotions are ramping up because time is running. I should help you. I'm gonna help. I have to take off because we're gonna be late and I have to pick up my red vest for media credentials. When I was younger, I was thinking about racing cars, but they were simply out of reach, beyond any imagination, and they were not so available. And I was too young for that. I think the dreams are coming true. Everything is coming all together from the puzzles, but after the years, I know we're gonna smash this race. There were a lot of problems, and the last one was something with the power in the engine, but I hope the guys are gonna fix that down the road we're gonna meet at the place and everything is gonna be fine and guys will nail it of course they're gonna nail it we're gonna win <laughs> or make it to the finish line right i know that there is a lot of competition and you know it's gonna be hard because guys are starting in this race for the first time ever but i see how stubborn they are they were working day and night to fix all of the issues with the car and i believe that it's gonna pay off with the results in the race. Woo! We're doing this thing. You do. Mikey, Mikey. We're about to go our first stage. Let's get it. See you guys on that side. Crash them records. I I see crash them records on this one. <laughs> Now let's give you a right six. 
After the right six, we're going into a crest. Just ice, nothing else. I'm driving literally on ice. The only way to get out of here is to catch the shoulder with one wheel. Ah, oh, it's so bad to drive in these woods. I hate it. I hate it. Woo! Oh my god, that was so cold, and the road to get that this speculating area was really rough. I wonder how to get out of here. Hey, look at my vest. Oh, the roads are so icy and conditions are so bad for them to drift that it's almost impossible to run smooth on these roads. They have to make it to the finish line. Some speculation area number four again and see what we can see over there. I can't stop! I can't! <laughs> I almost! Man, nice, man, what do you think about this road? This is amazing. This is crazy. I actually stayed here hoping you would come up because when I came looking for my phone, this turns a little confusing. We gotta go left. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, you'll end up on a snowmobile trail if you go right. Well, Maybe I'll... not want to do that. Alright, cool. Yeah, you see, these roads are crazy. You have to have a guide, even in the deep forest. This is what's happening! Wow! We're moving on smooth ice right now. Still. Okay, I catch the shoulder with one tire to get any friction. Get out of this horrible woods. The worst road ever. The worst road ever. I have to document that. This is insane. I almost crashed the car. I stopped 
when I was climbing up the hill and cars started sliding backwards and the trees were waiting for me there. And there's my friend from media who is my guide right now. And basically without him it would be nearly impossible to get out of these woods. Look at this. I have to keep the banks and riding on them because there's no friction on this road. No traction. Oh, I'm struggling so bad. Yeah, I made it. I made this little hill. There is another one over there. Don't put too much gas. Catch the bank. I am off-road master right now. Look at these trucks, he's sliding too. Like, oh man. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> you don't even know how happy I am right now. That's so awesome. <laughs> I can continue to film this race. <laughs> We're not too late either. I made it. I made it. You don't even realize how happy I am. I can continue to film this race. I don't want to ever think about coming back on this road ever again. No, big no for icy roads. This is insane. We're going to another spot and we'll see what else is waiting for us over there. I realized I was still in slow-mo mode but I would like to say a big big thank you for Henry the photographer I met at the event you were amazing so generous bro I would have never made it without you thank you for being my guide thank you for casting the light on the road in front of me so I knew how to drive and thank you for waiting for me and thank you for giving me a little push couple times I would have never made it without you I'm so glad I met such an angel down the road you were like a lighthouse for a small ship coming back to the port during the storm bro you are the best you have a special place in my memories now peace
event is coming to an end, guys are coming one by one to the last checkpoint from the stages and here we got another team coming in. Super cool and adventurous. It really was. Yeah. Cheers. 